into it. Um, my name is Nick Edwards. I'm with uh, one of my co-founders, Arjun Ori, uh, and we are talking about Facebook Messenger and why it's the revenue channel for uh, e-commerce brands uh, like yourselves. Uh, just kind of quick spot results of this poll. Looks like about a third of you currently are using Facebook Messenger marketing. Um, about 20% of you have used it in the past, uh, but are not currently, and um, almost half of you have never used it at all and are probably uh, just trying to learn and explore for what's going on. So um, thanks for all those responses and uh, we will uh, help provide some context and we will jump into the, um, uh, into the rest of the presentation. So uh, by brief way of introduction, um, as I mentioned, I'm joined uh, with uh, one of my co-founders, uh, Arjun Ori, um, our CEO. Uh, Arjun and I have known each other for a very long time in the entrepreneurial and, and tech space and uh, all the way back to school. Um, Arjun's uh, just an incredible entrepreneur himself. He's worked at Microsoft and Zynga and a ton of uh, top performing tech companies. He also launched an e-commerce uh, brand and companies that did over $100 million in revenue uh, by themselves. Uh, so really, um, uh, really fortunate to be partnered up with him on this, this venture. Uh, myself, I've also worked in technology and building and scaling and starting technology companies for a long time. Uh, most recently, a, uh, a machine learning and artificial uh, intelligence uh, platform designed for marketers, uh, which we uh, sold a couple years ago. Uh, we're fortunate to uh, both work with, along with our team, some of uh, the web's really leading uh, and incredible brands uh, who are uh, pioneering the way in, uh, in e-commerce. And so we're excited about that and jump into a bunch of different examples here. Before we jump into the exact uh, presentation, a uh, quick recap of the agenda. Um, we're, uh, as, you, as you very well know, because you signed up for it, we're talking about a couple things. Uh, first and foremost, like why Messenger is such an essential channel for e-commerce brands now. For those half of you um, who, um, or more than half, 75% of you who have never, um, either never used Messenger or are not currently using it, we're gonna be talking about why this is so important. Uh, we're also getting into um, kind of more specifically, a lot of tactical examples um, and real life tactical examples on how to actually use Messenger. I think it's, it's one thing to kind of talk abstractly about platforms and features and, and buttons. Uh, we wanna show you um, like real examples of, of why this works and how this goes. Um, as we get into the presentation itself, uh, please feel free to um, drop in um, questions in the Q&A section. Um, and we will, be, um, we will be jumping into uh, specific details around um, uh, specific questions throughout the presentation and also, of course, at the end. So uh, keep the questions coming and uh, we will go from there and we'll also be sending out a recording of the presentation um, after this is all over. Uh, so with that, um, Arjun, I'll uh, kind of pass the, pass the baton over to you um, and you can maybe uh, start off by jumping into like the messenger opportunity as a whole um, why, and why we're, why we're building this business. Great. So um, I'm assuming everyone can hear me all right. Uh, thank you, Nick, for that introduction. Again, my name is Arjun Ori, and uh, I'm really excited to be sharing uh, everything that we've learned about uh, Facebook Messenger marketing and mobile marketing more broadly um, over the last few years in building Shop Message. So just before we actually get started, uh, I, uh, before I dive into the nitty gritty of scenarios that work, it's worth talking about uh, why Facebook Messenger? There are lots of channels out there, but why Messenger? And also why now? Facebook Messenger has been around for uh, many years now. Even the platform has been open. But what's unique about this time right now that's causing all of these brands to be able to be successful on the platform? So um, really, the, the first major trend that you're seeing in e-commerce is the growth of mobile retail. So, you know, we already know that um, as e-commerce brands, most of the traffic that we get is on mobile phones. But what's different now is we're approaching around 50% of all transactions and revenue coming from mobile phones. And if you look at even Shopify's data from their Black Friday, they found that that number was over 60% of sales coming from mobile phones. And we see these trends only increasing over time. So um, that, this, is, this is great, but um, if we're actually ready to, if we're actually uh, trying to, if our customers are reaching us on mobile, then we need to make sure that we have the ability to actually reach them where, where they're spending time. And previously, if you think about what worked when desktop shopping was predominant, was the email channel. 
but the channels are just different on mobile. So uh, just to be more clear, uh, you know, we like to say that now we live in a conversational economy. And that's because um, when you think about where people spend their time on, on mobile devices, how they actually get, keep in touch with their friends and family, it's not through email. People aren't sending personal emails to each other. They're, they're even not picking up, uh, they're not even making phone calls, but instead they're using chat apps. They're using SMS, they're using iMessage, they're using Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Instagram DM. And all the data is showing that this is actually where people already talk to their friends and family and would actually prefer to talk to businesses. And we see this happen with every shift in channels. Uh, in the beginning when email was a channel where you spoke with your friends and family and for your professional contacts, ultimately it, it also became the place where you can keep in touch with the, with the brand and other services that you, you have a good relationship with. So email is definitely not going away, but when you look at customer preferences, uh, people are much more likely to buy from a brand that they can actually have a messaging conversation with. And this is not just a small num number of users. Uh, billions of users have actually shifted to messages as their main channel of communication with Facebook Messenger really leading the way with 1.5 billion users. So that's why Facebook Messenger and that's why mobile is really an interesting opportunity right now for e-commerce. I'll say lastly um, is Facebook is, is really going all in on messaging. Uh, if, you, if you were to read some of Mark Zuckerberg's most recent posts, um, if you were to see some of the summaries from the Facebook F8 conference, it's really clear that uh, Facebook is leaning very heavily into messaging. Uh, if they look at all the growth of, uh, that Facebook has seen over the last couple of years, it's not so much in people posting or even consuming the news feed. Um, most of the activity actually happens in one-to-one -one messaging, small group messaging, and um, you know, ephemeral messaging like stories. So you know, Facebook as a company is really shifting their priorities to make sure they can serve customers in the way that they already like to communicate with, with their friends and family. So you can imagine uh, the future of Facebook is gonna look a little less like what it looks like today in terms of a news feed in the Facebook or Instagram app and more like Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp. And, you know, in that kind of world, it's really important that brands can have a place there and reach customers where, where they really are. And it goes both ways too. It's not just um, to be used as a marketing channel, but customers themselves want to be able to have a two-way conversation with the brands that they care about. And that's another unique aspect of messaging that really wasn't there before with a standard uh, you know, news, feed, uh, news feed ads and, and uh, stories, which still is one-to-many one to broadcasts. So now we're moving on to, you know, now that we've established why Messenger is really important and, and why mobile is really driving the adoption of channels like Messenger, uh, let's talk about very tactically, how does a brand become successful on Messenger? And we really, we really like to divide it into three things. Number one is how do you grow your Messenger list? How do you increase the number of people you have conversations with? And then I'll follow that up with once you grow your list uh, and you've opened these conversations, how do you trigger the right messages at the right time? And then finally, how do you go beyond just um, you know, one-off messaging and into really meaningful conversations? So, uh, and I'm gonna use our, our case studies from uh, companies, real companies that have used Shop Message to drive uh, over $100 million in sales over the past year alone. So uh, the first very tactical thing that you can do even starting today is uh, using smart pop-ups to start conversations on a website. So the whole idea is this. Um, E-commerce brands are already spending millions of dollars in um, developing a very beautiful, easy to use uh, website. And then in addition, they're spending lots of money on Facebook ads and just ads across the internet, driving traffic to the website. So this is already where your customers are, are having their journey. So with the, with the shop message pop-ups, uh, we allow you to actually start a conversation with users as they're on your website. And that's really valuable because then you can oh, continue the conversation long after they leave the site in a channel where customers are uh, really spending a lot of time. So, you know, one example is Fashion Nova. Um, you know, many of you know Fashion Nova as uh, really an Instagram, uh, one of the premier, uh, if not the biggest Instagram brand. And, you know, they drive millions and millions of users a day to their, to their site. And what they find is by 
prompting the users who are already logged into Facebook in their browser and giving them an offer over Messenger, they find that they're able to log in over 20 or over 12 percent of their of their website visitors into Messenger. And then for these users, they see a very significant 23 percent lift in sales. And that's, this is a result of sending the right messages to these users, providing a very direct support channel. So um, the takeaway here is use your website to start these conversations. Another way to start conversations that's very popular is using Facebook's and Instagram's click to messenger ads. So in this example, um, Pure Vita Bracelets is another shot message customer and they've had incredible success on Messenger and they are really one of the early adopters. Um, and what, what Pure Vita found is they're already spending a lot of money on Facebook ads to, to just drive users to their website, um, but they wanted to actually take this to the next level. So uh, what Pure Vita found is that uh, users, uh, customers who are way more valuable if they can actually sign up for a monthly subscription. And so oftentimes many people who browse from, from Pure Vita don't even know that there is a monthly subscription or don't know really how it works. So Pure Vita Bracelets decided to use click to messenger ads to really outline what is the value of uh, really tell users about their monthly clubs, how it works, what are the kind of exclusive items you get and giving a very easy way to, to explain this to a user um, and then ultimately go buy the product. So uh, this, is, this, is, uh, this has a lot of value because number one, you're really selling and walking the user through this process and explaining to them along the way. Number two is if the user drops off, you have the ability to re-engage them on a channel uh, that they're actually checking. And then lastly is um, even if they, you know, whether they make a purchase or not, um, you can actually follow up with a very pertinent message. And this has worked really well for Pura Vida. They're actually driving over 3% of their overall revenue um, just, through, just through Messenger alone. And you know, this is last click attribution. So it's a very, very, um, it's, it's, a, it's a very concrete metric. And you know, they've managed to grow their audience to over a million really engaged users. And then the third way that, that we recommend, we've already talked about using um, the, the shot message out of the box growth tools and also Facebook Messenger ads. But what most brands that we talk to say is, you know what, I already, I already capture email on my site and I don't, want to, uh, I don't want to actually stop doing that. Email is still very valuable. And for that we say, you know, you're right. Email is still very valuable. It's not going to go away anytime soon. And what we want, as we move into this world where there's a lot of different ways uh, where customers talk to talk to their friends and family and even talk to brands, you want to make sure that uh, as a brand, you're really reaching customers on the best channel for them. So that's where messenger integrations with some of the most popular email capture tools uh, like Just Do No, uh, Digio, Privy, and Optimunk uh, work really, really well. So as an, as an e-commerce merchant, you've probably already designed a flow that works really well for capturing emails. Um, but with the integration, what we can actually do is identify where the user came from. Is this user logged into Facebook in their browser? Would they be a good fit for Messenger? Is Messenger the primary way that they actually talk to their friends and family? Because if so, you actually want to prompt that user with, with Facebook Messenger instead of email. And in that case, it's just a one tap opt-in instead of having to type anything. And then the added value is once you're in the conversation, you can very easily ask for the email address anyways with just one tap. So you should not think about it as an, e as an either or. You can get the email regardless, but when you get Messenger, you get a new channel with access to push notifications and an interactive um, conversational way of, uh, of really working with your customers that you really don't get in any other channel. Hey, Adrian, we, we just got a question come in through the Q&A button at the bottom. Uh, there's a question about whether or not asking for messenger opt-ins will interfere with, with email um, capture, uh, because at least for this customer, uh, email is an uh, important channel. Can you uh, uh, touch on that? Absolutely. So there's, there's a lot of different ways to, to do this. As I mentioned before, um, it's not an either or, it's really both. Um, and what's nice is whether you use the the shop message out of the box tools to, to fire a modal and to get an opt-in, um, or you have an integration with an existing provider like a, like a Justuno, um, 
you, we, the modals themselves are smart so that you'll never actually have a messenger modal conflicting with an email modal. Um, there's logic built in so that, you know, if there's a modal that's asking the user for the email address, the, the messenger modal will automatically be suppressed because the, the worst thing is having multiple modals that are really popping up in the user's face. So we call this, um, you know, our internal code name is air traffic control so that we can really control the right, the right message, the right prompt to the user in their journey on the site without bothering them. Great, thanks for, thanks for addressing that. If more questions come up, we'll just kind of casually touch on them throughout the presentation. Uh, so hit that Q&A button at the, at the bottom, but uh, Arjun, I'll let you keep on going. Great, so um, at, you know, at this point we've talked about um, the value of Messenger as a channel. We've talked about how to really grow your Messenger list through ads or through your website. Um, and now it gets really interesting. Now that you've opened the conversation, how do you actually trigger the right message to the users along their whole customer journey? So we're huge believers in making sure that you tailor the conversation throughout the customer journey, depending on where they are in the process. So what we found is, you know, if, if a customer is very new to the brand, you want to offer some sort of a welcome message to welcome them to the family, uh, maybe giving them a promotion and offering some sort of way to discover products in Messenger or maybe linking back to a particular product in the site that they'd be interested in. And then for consideration at this phase, you know, this is where you really want to serve, have Messenger serve as kind of a uh, concierge so you can really uh, help users decide what products to buy. And we'll cover a case study of, uh, with movement watches where we actually help users decide what products they should buy. And then uh, as they move along the, the marketing funnel, uh, you really want to be able to drive your customers to actually making a transaction. And this is where the really targeted uh, abandoned cart messages work well. And then lastly is when you're, uh, after the customer's made a purchase or uh, you know, after they've browsed your site for a while, you wanna actually develop an ongoing relationship. And you know, that's where we can look at a case study from uh, you know, one of our favorite brands, Blender's Eyewear, and how they continue to re-engage with their customers um, even after the first purchase and even after the first browsing session. So um, as an overview, um, it's really important that, it, you, that every message that gets sent to users has a reason why it's sent and takes into account their context of how they're behaving on their site. Because there's actually a much higher onus to do this on Messenger versus email because you could potentially be interrupting the user in the daytime. Uh, and you really don't want to, you really don't want to be um, bothering a, a potential customer or an existing customer with something that's not meaningful to them. So to give uh, a, a more concrete example, uh, one of the things that Fashion Nova does is uh, they, have, they, have various kind of, they have various automated flows that, that reach customers based on what they're doing on the site. And the most popular one, and the one that actually drives a significant portion of the revenue, is the abandoned cart flow. So after a user opts in on the site, after they're browsing, let's just say they add some products to their cart. So uh, what Fashion Nova does is you know, they, they set up just one time an automated uh, cart abandonment flow. And then after that, anytime a user leaves a product in their cart and doesn't, doesn't make the purchase, they'll get an automated message with their name in it, with the exact contents of the cart, and this is really valuable because uh, you're reaching the customer, um, you're sending a push notification to their phone while it's really top of mind. And here the customer really has a couple options. Um, either they can go and check out right away and finish their purchase and we deep link directly into that checkout with their cart recovered on any device um, and a discount pre-applied. Or they can decide that, you know, maybe they're not sure they want this product. They want to see some other related items and uh, see what else Fashion Nova has to offer that's related to what they, what they browsed. Um, or lastly, they can just ask a question and, and have the customer support team uh, respond with, with an answer that really helps them push them to make a conversion. So this works incredibly well for Fashion Nova. Um, they're seeing over 80% open rates. They're seeing over a quarter of recipients actually click back on a message to get back to the site. And they're recovering one out of every 10 or 11 abandoned carts through Messenger alone. And so if you compare these numbers against email, you're gonna find that it's, uh, it's, it, it's almost five times as valuable as a channel uh, on the recipient side. As another example, 
um, Blender's eyewear actually wanted to re-engage customers long after they, they browse on the site. And now one thing that we get a lot of questions around is when can you actually send a message to customers? Uh, and you know, Facebook has some rules on what messages are allowed when. So for example, there are certain messages like, um, like receipts and shipping notifications that you can send at any time. But you know, there, there are more rules around being able to send a promotional message out of the blue. So they really want to discourage the behavior where brands will send a campaign blast to their entire list and really interrupt everybody with the push notification and, and interrupting them in their daytime. So uh, Facebook has this product called Sponsored Messages, which allows you to, um, for a very nominal fee, reach all the people with whom you have open conversations. So what Blender's Eyewear did is they identified the, the most passionate um, uh, customers that they've had and the people who'd be most interested in a St. Patrick's Day offer. And then for these customers, they actually sent a very targeted message to them that's personalized with their name on it that told them about the new sale and gave them an easy way to, to get a discount code. And what they found is they got over a 30x uh, return on their ad spend. And this was more than seven times as effective as their next best remarketing, uh, remarketing ad. So, um, you know, these results are obviously incredible. And at this point in, in you know, the messenger, uh, in the messenger ecosystem, not many brands are actually sending these messages, which means that because Facebook works through a bid auction system, that your cost for sending a message is very low. It ends up being uh, even much cheaper than sending an SMS uh, with a lot of the benefits of messenger, like the, the, the high delivery rates and the, uh, um, the interactive elements of the conversation. So now we've talked about the value of sending triggered messages at the right time with the right content. And, uh, you know, for the last section, we want to focus on some of the, um, sorry, Nick, you have a question. Yeah, a couple of questions came in uh, while you were going over that. I mean, we can just touch on them briefly since it's contextually relevant. Sure. Um, first, um, the first was probably related to this last slide around uh, uh, Blender's use of sponsored messages, but there was a question around retargeting and how you can use shop message to do retargeting um, and uh, you know, specifically with regards to, uh, to Facebook ads as well. Uh, so the, the question is, what are you allowed to do? What are the kind of features you can do around retargeting and remarketing? Exactly, what can you do around uh, retargeting with, uh, with, with Messenger? Got it. So retargeting with Messenger is actually the, you know, that's actually the hero use case. And that's really what got Messenger marketing on the map for e-commerce brands. And it's highly, highly effective um, as, a, as a retargeting channel. So uh, specifically, the things to keep in mind is Facebook does have a policy around, um, they call it the 24 rule or the 24 plus one rule, which says that uh, you can send a message to, cut to, to people as long as they've actually interacted with your brand in the last 24 hours. And that's actually perfect for remarketing scenarios like abandoned cart messages um, or browse abandonment messages because a customer just interacted with your, uh, with your site. Maybe they just opted in and maybe they just um, responded to a message that you had in Messenger. So those are uh, remarketing cases within the first 24 for, uh, hours work extremely well um, on Messenger. Now, beyond that, if you actually want to send a campaign style message to, uh, to your entire audience, that's where we really suggest using sponsored messages. Um, in practice, um, Facebook, has these, Facebook has these guidelines, but in practice, what we found matters way more than, than, these, than these guidelines is the user experience that, that your customers face. Uh, we've actually seen examples of brands that uh, they're completely compliant in terms of the 24 plus one rules. Um, however, the messages just feel really spammy. They're not very personalized. Um, they, they're very aggressive and they just rub customers the wrong way. And one of the things that's nice about Messenger is that users have full control over deleting or muting or reporting a conversation. And, you know, it's right there within, within the conversation. You can see right here in the screenshot, the upper check, the checkbox in the upper right, users just have to tap that and they'll get a menu of uh, being able to delete or mute the conversation. So that, that's, we believe that's actually a really good thing. It forces brands to be thoughtful about the messages that they send to users and uh, making sure that 
they're not spamming their customers. They really think about providing value first. Great, great. So we, we're getting more questions that we can answer halfway through the presentation, but I'll just do uh, two more that have come through that are contextually relevant. So if uh, someone's just getting started with shop message and messenger marketing, like what are the uh, two flows that you would, re two, three flows that you'd recommend they, uh, they get started with and, and how much effort does that take? A great question. So, uh, the, uh, you know, we care a lot about making sure brands get a very quick, easy onboarding experience and can see value in messenger um, right away. So in practice, if you have an e-commerce store, especially if you have a store that's on a Shopify or Magento platforms, you can actually just use a self-service install, um, start off with a, a free trial for 30 days and uh, have pricing that starts at $9 per month afterwards. You can connect your store yourself, connect your page. And um, we, we have out of the box templates that we've, that we've proven to, to perform well for, for the most popular flows. And you know, if we were to get started, the, the things that you should do today are get set up some sort of a growth tool so you can start conversations, start opt-ins on your, on your site. And then number two is set up the most popular flows. And those flows are uh, number one, it's cart abandonment. And then the, and that's important because if these are customers who are already, um, they already showed a, a very high propensity to buy and they, they've left something in their cart. So just getting them over the edge might take a little bit of a reminder or addressing some of their concerns over messenger or maybe even giving them a discount. Uh, and then uh, after the, after the, um, the card abandonment flow, uh, we've seen great success with just a standard welcome series. And that's important because when new customers come to your brand, they might not remember to go back. And you know, having the opt-in be as easy as one click and then getting a, mess a message that lives in your Facebook Messenger that introduces the user to the brand gives uh, maybe like a digital, uh, it feels like a digital wallow where you can store things like offers and discounts. That's incredibly valuable. So, um, and, and we see actually that driving a significant portion of a revenue of a messenger. So number one is card abandonment. Number two is a welcome message. Uh, we also suggest turning on the, we also suggest turning on the receipt and the shipping notifications because those are moments of very strong user delight to be able to get a message um, as soon as their, their, their item has, their order has been placed. So getting confirmation that they're going to get the order and kind of welcoming the user, welcoming the customer to really the brand's family. And then number two, it's a, it's a great experience to receive a, uh, a message as soon as your order is shipped. And these are opportunities not only for providing information to the users, but you can also use this as an opportunity to continue to tell your brand story and perhaps get the user back to your site to maybe purchase again. Perfect. Um, there are several more questions, but we'll hold uh, to the end where we'll try to address as many of them as, as possible. Uh, in the meantime, keep your questions coming in through the Q&A button at the bottom. Um, Arjun, we'll let you uh, wrap up the last, uh, last section of the presentation. Great. So uh, this is where it gets really fun and where, where brands are doing really innovative things. So one of my favorite parts about Messenger is that the conversations, it's not just a one-way channel. It's really two-way. It's conversational and it's interactive. And that means that you can uh, unlock all sorts of really interesting flows. And what we like to think about is, you know, nowadays with people shopping more online, um, you know, a lot of customers feel like they've lost that experience of shopping in a re physical retail store and having a um, having someone there, having an associate there uh, to answer some of their questions and to help recommend products to them and maybe suggest things based on their preferences. So Messenger really gives the opportunity to make uh, online shopping feel a little bit more human, feel a little bit more interactive. So uh, I want to share some of the experiences that, that some brands have created over Messenger. The first experience that we like talking about is uh, for movement watches. So many of you are familiar with movement. They're, they're a lifestyle brand based out of Los Angeles. And you know, they, they really specialize in these bold, um, yet, yet minimal and sleek, stylish watches um, and sunglasses and jewelry. And you know, they, they do an incredible job with, with, a, it, with their social media presence. Um, and with their website. So you can land on their Instagram uh, page or land on the website and you know instantly what the brand represents. 
Um, that said, you know, they have, they have hundreds and hundreds of products live at any given time and finding a product might be difficult. So uh, what Movement decided to do in Messenger is during the holiday time, when there's already a lot of interest in shopping, um, they, 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 used, they used a click to Messenger ad to start a conversation that instead of going to the website, actually opened a conversation in Messenger that was a, uh, that was a product quiz. And users could, you know, answer a few questions just with a matter of three or four taps to choose whether they're shopping for um, watches, jewelry, or sunglasses. And then, even within that, they can they can choose what kind of watch they're looking for. They're looking for a, you know, dark watch, rose gold, or whatever color they're looking for. Or what size watches do they like? Do they prefer leather or or metal straps? And ultimately, they would get a set a a set of product recommendations. And this is incredibly valuable because um, because of the the way of interacting with Messenger, just hitting buttons instead of having to type, a movement saw an 85% quiz completion rate. So 85% of the people who started actually finished it and got got a set of personalized recommendations. Um, and not only that, once somebody completed the quiz the, and and got sent to the website to finish their purchase, they were five times more likely to make a purchase after having gone through this quiz. So uh, this is extremely valuable in, in helping users decide which products they should buy. And especially, especially around the holiday season where um, gift giving is a really big scenario, um, you know, sometimes just uh, answering a user's uh, uh, questions and giving them a, like a very straightforward way to pick a product is the difference between somebody making the purchase or dropping off because they're overwhelmed. As another example, uh, kind of similar, is uh, we worked with American Eagle Outfitters. So American Eagle, um, you know, one of the big, one of the busiest times of the year is the back to school season, where they sell um, they sell tons of jeans and bras. And so what they were finding is, you know, despite having, I mean, they had thousands and thousands of SKUs um, for jeans and bras. And sometimes it could be overwhelming. So what American Eagle wanted to do is provide an on-site concierge-like experience where um, if a user is shopping on, on, on American Eagle for jeans or bras, then uh, our system would detect that. And we would also detect whether they're actually logged into Facebook or not in the browser. And if so, we can actually pop up a customer chat plugin right on their website as they're shopping. And we can ask, hey, do you need any help to find a pair of jeans or, um, or find a bra just for you? And again, this is just going through a, a very brief questionnaire answering three or four questions um, about, you know, how do you like the, how do you like the, the, the jeans to fit? What kind of wash do you prefer? Uh, and ultimately you get a set of personalized product recommendations. And then, you know, just, just by interacting with, with this, uh, with this concierge, users saw a two and a half times lift in their conversion rates. And what was most surprising was it's not just that the convert, they were more likely to make a purchase. They actually bought more. They saw a 33% lift in AOV, which makes sense if you think about how, uh, you know, having gone through this quiz, um, customers trust more that they're going to get a product that they like, and, um, and they're willing to take to take a bet to buy more items. And then lastly is you know, just by offering help on the uh, on the website uh, when customers needed it, American Eagle was able to uh, have a 6x increase in their subscribers subscribers, which allowed them to later on send promotional messages using sponsored messages to re-engage these customers even after they left the site. So, you know, the, the, really the sky is the limit in terms of trying to make, uh, trying to make an interactive experience. And the guidelines that we, the guidance that we usually give uh, our, our clients and the merchants that work with us is you should think about, you know, if you were a physical retail store, what would a sales associate actually say? You know, how would they greet a user coming in? What kind of questions would they ask? What are the most common questions that shoppers have? And how do you provide very quick, easy answers to, to, to these questions to make customers feel uh, great about making their purchase? So we've talked about how to, we've talked about why Messenger really is the future. We've talked about, um, we talked about how to grow your list and we've talked about triggering messages and also interactive conversations. 
Um, one of the, to address one of the previous questions, somebody asked, how do you actually get started? How do we get started today if I'm a merchant? And this is where we've taken all that we've learned over the last um, three years of, of really being pioneers in, uh, in, in messenger marketing. And we've put it into our you know, very powerful uh, shop message tool. And you know, if you're familiar with how an email system works, or if even you, you just use Shopify, you'll find that it's very easy to use. There is a drag and drop editor that allows you to specify these conversations. You can insert things like a user's first name or, or, or their gender or other dynamic content. And you can easily specify rules on who should get what kind of message. And what's great is because it integrates directly with your website, it'll automatically pull in the products that your customers are viewing, what's in their cart, and what they purchased. Uh, so uh, out of the box, if you want to get started, it just takes you know, 10 to 15 minutes to connect your page, connect your store, and just turn on the, the best practices. And then if you want to spend more time, then our tools allow you to really customize the messages, to personalize them to your brand, and even offer uh, a lot more robust rules. So for example, some of our brands like to um, you know, if, if a cart value, if a cart has more than $300 uh, worth of merchandise in it, uh, some of our brands like to treat these users as VIPs, maybe even before they, they bought. And for those users, you might want to sweeten the deal. You might want to treat them uh, in a very special manner and give them a different experience. Similarly, um, if somebody shops for men's clothes versus women's clothes, you might want to change the, the opening that you, that you lead with in your conversation. So really the sky's the limit here. Uh, you know, we're very excited about the experiences that our merchants have created on Messenger. But what's also great is you know, we care about our customer service a lot. And so we offer a managed service as well. So for brands who want to get started up and running uh, with the best practices, with uh, almost like hiring a you know, employee, a part-time employee that runs the entire Messenger program, um, that is something that we're really proud to, to offer now. So, you know, with that, uh, I want to say that's a wrap and you know, happy to take questions and happy to answer them right now. Great. Thanks. Thanks for that, Arjun. Um, so we, we have uh, several questions that we'd like to address and jump on. Um, we are we are trying to wrap this up by 1245 um, for those of you who uh, want to stick around for the Q&A section. Um, and if you have questions, just drop them in the Q&A button at the bottom of the Zoom invite. Uh, so, so first um, question is, do you have to worry about GDPR with shop message? Uh, what, can you talk about, uh, address that? Sure. Um, I mean, GDPR is a very common question. If you're in, if you're in marketing, it's something that you're thinking about a lot. Uh, we're, we're proud to say that shop message en enables merchants to be completely GDPR compliant. And, um, you know, we have, we have a privacy policy on our website that defines exactly why. Um, I can give some information, uh, you know, in a nutshell, uh, the, the reason why, uh, the, what, what makes shot message really GDPR compliant is any information that's captured about a user in terms of the products they're viewing or what's in their cart. Um, all that is anonymized data. We don't, know, we don't know anything about who that user is until they explicitly opt in to receiving messages. Now, once they opt in, that's when the merchant gets the, uh, they know that this, this customer has opted in. They know their first name, last name, uh, gender, and a couple other bits of information. But at that point, it's a very clear opt-in and users, uh, users know what they're getting into. So we believe very much in having an explicit opt-in. Um, I believe many brands, uh, you know, in a, in a previous iteration of shot message and, and messenger marketing, we're passively opting users in just as they're browsing the site. And, uh, you know, we, we believe that having more of an explicit opt-in creates a better user experience. Um, and what we found in practice is going from a, you know, pre-checked passive opt-in to now without a pre-check and having the user having to explicitly opt-in, what we actually find is, Yes, the number of users, the number of subscribers is lower because users have to take an explicit, explicit action. But what we're finding is the amount of revenue that brands are able to generate is roughly the same, which tells you that you're reaching the customers who are really the ones who want to receive messages, who find most value in this. And over time, you can grow your list to, to reach even more customers. Okay, great. Thanks. Thanks, Arjun. Uh, how about UTM parameters? Uh, does shot message support uh, UTM parameters and um, how easy is that to set up? 
Yes, a shop message does. Um, it's you know baked right into the platform. Uh, we have we come from a marketing background and we were running our e-commerce brand for um, for five years before even starting shop message. So we cared a lot about being able to attribute what marketing is working versus what's not. And UTM parameters is a big part of that. So we make sure that any message that gets sent out with shop message, anytime that there's a link, it's there's automatically appended UTM parameters um, signifying that the user came from messenger, that they came from shop message specifically and which campaign or flow actually drove that purchase. So that way, uh, whether you use Google Analytics or Shopify's out of the box tools or any other data, data platform, you'll be able to really assess the value of Messenger for yourself. Perfect, perfect. And a uh, question around Google Tag Manager, if, uh, if we support um, that. Yes, uh, we do. So uh, the, a little bit of context on that is uh, we've talked about the most valuable messages that get sent to users, really take into context, take into account what the user is actually doing on the site. So the way you know users, what a user is doing on the site is by having uh, the shot message script on that site. So, um, you know, as long as a company has Google Tag Manager, then it, you don't even need to write explicit lines of code to just insert the shot message, um, the shot message script, the shot message libraries onto your site. And then at that point, the integration is, uh, is very easy. And if you need customization, uh, we, have an, we have our onboarding engineering team um, on call to be able to uh, help onboard any brand. Okay, thanks for that. And um, maybe second to last, uh, what other languages or do you support other languages is the, um, is, is the question. Yeah, uh, that's a great question. So we actually work with a number of uh, a number of merchants who have uh, who, who have multi multilingual sites, or they might have one version in English and another one in French or Portuguese. And Shot Message works very well in those scenarios. And what we found is the best way to make it work is actually provision um, you know a few sub accounts or sub sites. So you know if you're a brand, then maybe the U.S. version. The, the French version, the Spanish version will have their own dashboards that'll be connected just by one drop down, And that allows you to make sure that every message that goes out to the user, uh, depending on the site that they, that they opt in from, um, you can send it to them in their correct language. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, and then the last question, we have a question around how long this will take to get up and running. Uh, we went through a lot of uh, kind of detail and some more complex um, uh, messenger scenarios. So uh, uh, one attendee is asking how fast can they get up and running um, if they uh, if they want to try using shop message. Uh, well, one thing that's nice about shop message is we offer, we're a hybrid solution. So we have a self-service model where you can just go to the website today, shopmessage.me, and you can go and sign up for our service, connect it to your store and start sending messages and, and growing your list right away. So uh, that's, you know, that takes that process end to end will probably take, you know, 15, 20 minutes, um, probably the first five minutes to just create your account, set up your store and set up your uh, and, and connect your Facebook page. Um, another, uh, say, a five minutes to turn on a growth tool to capture to uh, to to cap to allow your users to start conversations. And then the remaining five to 10 minutes could be sent setting up the flows and making sure that they're personalized based on um, how you on your brand voice. So what's nice is you can get up and running in 20 minutes, but we also offer a managed service so that, you know, for brands that want to do something special that, that, you know, want to have something like a custom quiz or maybe a data integration with other things that aren't out of the box. Um, you know, we, we love working on those scenarios and, you know, we'd be happy to, to chat with you about how we can support you through a managed service. And for those, even for those users, uh, we can get up and running in, um, you know, as, as little as two or three days and on average between one and two weeks, depending on the complexity of, of the site. Okay, perfect. We are, uh, we are at time, actually a couple minutes beyond. Um, apologies if we did not get to your question, uh, but you're more than welcome to uh, reach out to either Arjun or myself um, directly over email or via messenger, of course. And um, thanks for your uh, attendance and uh, joining, the, joining our Shop Messages uh, actually first ever webinar. Uh, so greatly appreciated. We will um, uh, see everyone online.